As they move left to right. Neither team shakes anybody's hand. Let's get after this. <laughs> Sit back, relax, buckle up. This is going to be a lot of fun tonight. Griffins Lions as Missouri Western tries for a statement win. Tonight's tip-off brought to you by St. Joe's Favorite Steakhouse, the Frederick Inn. Williams will jump center and win it for the Griffins. Bo Baker has it near side left for Tyus Milholland. And now back up top for Tyrell Carroll. TC had 30 the last time these two teams played. But one thing we haven't talked about, Tyus Milholland did not play last week against Missouri Southern. Tyree Martin right of the lane. Jump hook is short, no good. Got his own rebound. One more time is good. Tyree Martin starts off like he finished last Thursday night. Well, it looks like they're uh, one. They're face guarding Tyus. There's no question about that. So I don't know if it's a triangle and two or not. There's a handoff left side for Parker Jennings. Two nothing Griffins on the near side. They double down low for Cam Martin. Works on Tyree. They dig down for a second. He reposts. Going to catch it. Works on Tyree. Spins to his right. Jump hook is good. You're going to have to live with that if he makes it. That's well, a tough that's, jump hook. That is a tough shot. About ten feet out. Well, let's look at this right now. It's it's. Uh, it's a funny matchup, Parker Jennings on. Uh, well, it is. It's almost like a Wills right now, but he wasn't on him first. Possession. Tyus Milhall on the far side right. Williams dumps it down low, going to go right off the glass over Cam Martin and score. And the Griffins have scored in their first two possessions. Will Eames off the glass this time. Four-two Missouri Western on the far side left with the basketball. Cam Martin backing his way, kicks it out. Elijah Clark a deep left wing three in and out, no good. Bo Baker the defensive rebound. Outlet for Tyrell Carroll. Here comes TC in transition. Goes right of the lane to the basket. Floater high off the glass is no good. Offensive board. The stick back by Bo Baker is good. Two offensive rebounds already. And Jeff Boshi's jacket is already off. Boy, he just went after that ball. and really got up athletically. And At the top of the key is Kinzer Lambert. A lot of electricity in the building. Here's Cam Martin backing his way on Tyree. Backs, backs, goes baseline. Nowhere to go. Reverse lamp is no good. And a foul is going to be called late. Well, I, I think he got hit in the head. I think you're right. That's I, what the officials say. I, I, uh, Boy, he lived with the foul line last Saturday, 17 out of 17. And he's an 80% free throw shooter, so no surprise that he made all 17 of them. He'll go to the free throw line for two. In league games, he's 84%. This one is good. And he scored 33 on Thursday at Northwest Missouri State. Tyree will check out. Now Tony Chukumake... We did a decent job. No one did a great job against him last week. Obviously, he scored 45. <laughs> but he did as good as anybody did last week. So Tony will check in with his size. You know, the other thing we haven't talked about, too, they can shoot the three. They can shoot the I mean, the they're three. shooting 41% in the, in, uh, since league play. Yep. Yeah, 41%. Overall, they're almost 39%. Cam Martin makes both free throws. 6-4 Missouri Western. Screen set by Baker. Left the lane. TC gets hit in the face. He got his shot blocked. Evidently, no foul call. They get it right back, though. Tyrell. Gets a high on the right side. Braylon Walker guards him. TC goes baseline right. Passes to the wing. Intercepted by Kinzer Lambert. Now TC knocks away and can't quite get a steal. Turn well, over on Missouri West. Yes. He, he just turned around almost had a steal on that. They switch it on a dribble handoff. Now Parker Jennings. They switch it and TC will guard him. Up top, Tony going to guard Martin. He'll take a three. Miss it this time. And Williams cleans up the defensive glass. 6-4 Western. Two and a half minutes in. Tyrell Carroll across the timeline. Gets a screen. Has it near side left. Picks up his dribble up top for Milholland. Braylon Walker will guard him. Gets a screen to his left. Goes right by Martin to the left hand. And off the glass, no good. He rushed it a bit. He got a little intimidated, and Martin didn't even jump. Really didn't do anything. You're right. You're exactly right. His presence alone. Yeah, that's what it was. Top of the key for Parker Jennings. Here's on the left wing, 15 feet out. Martin backing his way. They dig down, and now Tyus Milholland gets into it. Cam Martin. He gets back up. Now they're pushing and shoving each other. And now it's going to be a foul on Cam Martin. And Tyus Milholland all over Cam Martin. Pushing and shoving. He should have been called for a foul early in that possession. Wasn't. And Cam Martin retaliated. Tyus has got to be careful, though. He's doing a little too much. Yeah. And if he continues to do that, there's going to be a foul called on Tyus. Well, not only that, you're going to to get the officials going to get on you for it. You know, they don't like to be... He got real lucky, and there it is, right there. And Elijah Clark's laughing at him. It, I mean, this this, this is going to be an interesting game. Uh, uh, the there is the intensity we're talking yeah, about. The officials right are really, really going to have to. Tyus has got to cool a little bit right now. Right. His emotions have got to come down in a good sub here for Coach Wicks. Reese Glover will check in for Tyus Milholland. He's saying, you know, you're going to curb your enthusiasm. Yes. 
You can get Jack, but don't act like you were acting. Here's Jennings in the lane. Lost it. Picks up for Braylon Walker to the basket. He got his shot partially blocked, I think, by Tony. Good help defense. Now TC from behind got it ripped. Braylon Walker gets the steal. Here's Walker. Back up top for Jennings. They have to scramble defensively. He jabs left, goes right in the lane. Jennings to the basket, feeds across the lane, tipped, deflected, and TC on the ground has it. He wins it, and he's going to get a timeout. No foul on it. Missouri Southern. It's yeah. going to be on Parker Jennings yeah. jumping on the pile. And Boy, he did. This is a physical basketball yeah. game right and now. And it was a good call. <laughs> yes. Uh, um, it was the right call. Um, you can go after the ball. The ball's free, but once that ball is... Um, then you can't jump on no, the player, No, you can't right? jump on the player, no. And that's what happened. But there, you can feel it in this game. There's, there's no good. They, you know, both teams, they know the importance of this game. I mean, Southern expected to be at least second in this league. If they lose this game, they could drop to fourth. Right. Here's Will Williams. Spins, got it knocked away from behind. Griffin's now careless with the basketball, doing too much one-on-one. Right, they were great to start the game, and now a lot of one-on-one. And you can't turn your back. You just cannot do that. Walker on the bounce to the basket, and a shot goes off the glass and in. We are tied at six. We didn't talk much about Braylon Walker, and he's... One of the better players in the yep. league. He's a good player. Here's TC. Goes downhill. Left the lane. Fades away from 10 feet. Got it. Tyrell Carroll had 30 last week on the Lions. Now they want to run. Southern will get up and down. They're as good as anybody in transition. Top of the key for Martin. They get out on him. Now he tries to drive. Picks up his dribble. Martin throws it right side with it. Elijah Clark. Reese gets up on him. Help defense from Tony. And forced to miss. Good defense from Tony to Klimake. Reese Glover finds TC in transition. He's got Martin guarding him right now. Takes him off the bounce to the basket. Hangs in the air. And walling up that time was Clark. J.D. tries to go up and got yeah. a traveling violation. He went up and was too far under the basket. Had to put it down. And they call him for a travel. Boy, there is some heavy marking of their territory right now. Yes. On, by, by several players. They call him for a travel. Boy, there is some heavy marking of their territory right now. Yes. On, by, by several players in this game. You better be a man to bring it inside today. That's right. And this this crew that we have normally yeah. calls it like no, that. No, you're right. You're, that's, a, that's a great observation, I, and I know two of them really well. And they're good, they're good officials, but they're not going to they're not going to interfere with the game. Here's Cam Martin back his way on Tony in the lane. Takes his time. Jump hook is good. Double came late, but the jump hook by Cam Martin is good. Southern has tied the game at eight. Well, you can see what makes him so good, too, because he slows down around the basket. Yes, he does. That's one of the things we've talked about a hundred times. TC finds JT, left the lane, stumbles a bit, spins in the lane, gets a shot off, and the shot rims off no good. Cam Martin, a defensive rebound from Missouri Southern. In transition again, here comes Braylon Walker, back up top for Jennings. Here's Lambert, jabs right, goes left right by JT. Got his shot blocked from behind, but Martin right there for the stick back. Great recovery by Jerron Thames, but now Southern has its first lead at 10-8. I mean, Dave, it is tough to get anything off inside. There are some athletes. Lambert is good. Guy's and above he, the rim right and now. And he just got that thing put right back in Adam. TC has it, picks up his dribble. Bounce pass for Jerron, near side left. JT looks down low. Back up top for TC with 11 to shoot. Both teams trying to break you down off the dribble. Here's the screen set. TC has it. Step back. Now five seconds. He fakes a three-point shot. Here's Eames. Left wing has to fire. Fading way out of bounds. Missed it. Short rebound for Martin defensively for Missouri Southern. Not a great offensive possession that time for Missouri Western. No, and we can't. We, 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 both both teams, we we have got to, to not get into a one-on-one yep. deal here. A lot of that here after a good start. A lot of one-on-one. Martin will shoot a three top of the key, and the shot is short. No good. Will Eames, the defensive rebound. Six and a half gone by, two-point lead for Southern. TC off the bounce to the basket. Couldn't get there on the way because Martin was standing in the lane. He'll dribble back out. Again, a one-on-one move, not passing the basketball. Up top for JT, fakes a three. Now he goes, top of the key, spins, left the lane. He fades away, and the shot rolls off the front of the rim. Battle for the rebound on the floor, and it's going to go out of bounds off of Missouri Western. That'll send us to a timeout. Well, we, we really need to be careful here. We're just getting caught up in me against down. you. Right. It it's way and, too and much. Just what I said about one of the keys to the game is you cannot get yourself people trying to mark their territory. on Actually, a little bit on both sides, but more so with us than with them. Five early turnovers on Missouri Western. Too, too many. Yep, way too many, too so, many so far. Parker Jennings will bring it across the timeline. Lions are not a deep team. They, they use their starting five and a couple of guys after that, but not much. Here's Martin top of the key. Alex John has checked in for the first time to guard him. Martin has eight. Here's a lot pass for Cam Martin. Tough catch in the lane. Triple teamed. Goes and spins baseline. Missed it. And a loose ball. Rebounding foul on Cam Martin. That's number two on Martin. 
Oh, no, they got Elijah Clark instead of Cam Martin. So it'll just be number one on Martin, one on Elijah Clark. They did not get Martin. Well, you can see it when he gets a loose ball down there. There are three Griffins around him at every time. Still has eight of their ten points already, though. TC top of the key. They flatten things out a little bit more. High ball screen set. TC lobs it down low. And now battling for the rebound. Alex John couldn't handle it for the loose ball, excuse me. Southern other forced turnover. There's six Griffin turnovers. There's Elijah Clark. Runs over Tyus. There's the second on Clark now. And that's a big loss. As good as Elijah Clark is, an offensive foul as Tyus got in front of him and draws the charge. Is now TC, Tyus, and Reese all in at the same time. That's a big foul on Missouri Southern's Elijah Clark, though. Well, this 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 lineup right now gives us the most firepower, I think, on the perimeter that we can yeah, get. Absolutely, yep. And then JT at the four. Right. <laughs> Here's Tyus on the left side. Step back. He'll take the three-point shot. Too strong, no good. Walker with a defensive rebound yeah. for Missouri Southern. Tyus got to settle down a little bit and stop. Way, so, way too. Yeah. Well, and now a silly foul like near that, the timeline on Tyrell Carroll. It's a, you know. And, and you have to understand, I think everyone has to understand, this is what, probably the first huge game that this program has seen in a long, long time. It is, yep. Certainly these kids, without any question. And we have to, you know, take care of the ball and, and, and play play our game and not get caught up in a moment. They feed it down low for Martin. Single coverage. He spins baseline. Good defense from John. Here comes a double team. Now out for Lambert for three. No good. Good defense by Missouri Western. Glover, a rebound. Good block out. Up the far sideline for Tyrell Carroll. TC at the top of the key in the corner for Jerron Thames. They set a back screen for Reese, couldn't find him. Now he circles around, catches in the corner. Back for JT. Reese had 21 second half points at Southern last week. One on one for Jerron Thames with a basket. Hangs and he missed the shot. I think they would have counted that thing. I think they would have. Yeah, they, and Jeff Boshi's saying he's going to get two free throws. That would have been an and one had he made it. And it was a called foul. Uh, Ten feet from the basket. I think he had a, an argument that well, time. Well, you know what? If you're going to play it at this intensity and everything else, you might as well have NBA rules. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Because <laughs> that was an NBA continuation. Payne's only 53% but makes the first. 10-8. Now 10-9 Missouri Southern. Tyree Martin will check in for Alex John. Actually, they've defended Cam Martin fairly well here early in this basketball game. He saw us 8 of their 10, but... Now Tyus will... Get in there is one of the rebounders on the line. Thames one more free throw. He played well last week at Missouri Southern. This is way off the mark. Reggie Tharp lets it go out of bounds as he's checked in. JT last week had 14 points and 10 rebounds. His first double double against the Lions last week in Joplin. It's a 10 9 game, not as high scoring as maybe what we expected early on. We're well, I think that's a lot of that's because of the intensity of the you. game and just this is more every, like a playoff game. Everybody's too jacked up right now and it's like a postseason. Game. Now TC is still ahead of the pack, all by himself, and the right hand layup is good. Griffins regain the lead. 11-10, Missouri Western. Kinzer Lambert, or, excuse me, it's Parker Jennings across the timeline finds Martin. You know, Ken, Kinzer Lambert's a pretty good athlete. He, he couldn't is. get close to catching him there. Cam Martin and jump hook in the lane goes up and under and. Yeah, there's, 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 there's not much got, you can do. Cam Martin's going to get his. He I is. Mean, uh, there's no question. It's he just not, he's, get you just can't get 45, yep. right? He's got 10 of their 12. Here's TC. Spins. Hesitates. Left the lane. Fades away from 15 feet. Rolls around and goes home. TC has six. Good touch. That ball was off to the right a little it bit. It was. Caught the rim. Good spin on it. Died on the rim. Six points for Tyrell Carroll. Down low for Jennings and lost the ball, but it goes out of bounds off of Missouri Western. Lions will inbound baseline to our right. 13-12 Missouri Western. Despite some of the turnovers and struggles early on, they've taken a pretty good hit from Southern, and they've played well defensively to stay in this game. Well, and you know, and, and you're going to have some turnovers in this game yeah. because just because of the... Wow. Cam Martin jump hook on three kids. And, <laughs> and, and Again, not much you can do. Back to my point, you're going to have some turnovers, not only because of the intensity, but because of the great athletes that are on. Yep. They are so quick. That what looks like an open pass sometimes closes You're just right. like that. High right side for TC. Goes right of the lane. And then circles back around. TC can look at the official yeah. one of foul called. Here's a skip pass for JT. Spins. Has a much smaller defender on him. Waits. Hangs and missed the shot. Boy, he had more time than that. And he kind of rushed it late. Because Reggie Tharp's guarding him at six I feet tall. I think he could have taken him in a little deeper, I think so, too. too. Martin fakes a three. 
Now he'll step back a one on one on Tyree. Goes left of the lane. Knocked away and a foul on TC is number two. That's a big foul on the Griffins. Number two on Tyrell Carroll. Will he sit down or will they play him? I think Sam Saganis is going to check into the basketball game. So with Tom Smith, I'm Dave Brigger back at our East Shopping Center courtside seats and it will be Bo Baker checking in for TC, so that'll mean Tyus Milholland will run the point right now. Reese Glover stays in the game. Here's a pass inside for Cam Martin on the inbound. Tries to find Tharp. Now a skip pass caught by Braylon Walker. His three-point shot is no good. Offensive board for Cam Martin. Goes baseline left and a foul on Tyree. Well, you can't give up the offensive rebound on the weak side. Well, it was, a, it, was a tough, two. it was a tough it rebound. It was a tough rebound for Tyree. It just, it just almost went right to Cam Martin. Well, that shouldn't be. Sh- they're going to say he was shooting the basketball? Oh, well, wow. I think that's maybe turn about spare play for the one down here. I mean, maybe so. <laughs> I know they don't think that, that way, but I'm just saying I, I I don't think he was shooting it either, but I'm not sure we were shooting down here. Three out of three now makes the first. He has 13 of their 15 points to go with five of their nine rebounds. He played all 40 minutes in Northwest on Thursday. I think he's going to get a quick breather right now. He's coming in as Ted Brown, 6'10", 270-pound senior from West Des Moines, Iowa, transfer from Concordia St. Paul. Now can they take advantage, although, unfortunately, Tyree has two fouls, so and now they will bring Alex John in. So they do bring in an offensive five as opposed to Tony being in the basketball game, so they make a switch with Cam Martin out. They'll bring Alex John in. Well, right now we're going to need, we're going to need Tyus to... To calm down and light it up a little bit. Reese also near side now at the high post. It's a size. They got the mismatch and now ball knocked away one by Reese Glover. They've got Will Ames being guarded by Parker Jennings, who is a 5'10. Now Reese right of the lane circles around, passes out of bounds. That was tipped. Griffins will keep it. Nine seconds to shoot. Boy, without TC, you can tell it's just different getting into their sets offensively, isn't it? Yep. They're just they're not used to it. That's why I it just and 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 TC's foul down here was not a good one. You no. know that's that's the only thing that Tyus near side left baseline. He falls out of bounds and throws it off of Walker. It goes out of bounds with five to shoot now. Tyus has got to get to playing and, and stop He's, worrying about the officials and yep. things. And um, He's kind of wrapped up in the intensity of this right, game right exactly. now, especially not playing it, it, against them last week. The inten- yeah, that's, that's a good point. The intensity and the importance. Yep. And now here's the inbound. It goes out high. Tyus will catch it. Four seconds. He's got to go. Top of the key. Step back. Gets a decent look. He leans in to try and draw a foul. It's a shot clock violation. He just needs to sit back and take a good yeah. shot. He had a crossover with an open look and tried to lean in and yeah. force contact. Tyus has got to play but, right now. And now Sam's going to come in and run the point. Yeah, he's negating his, his good play that he's, that he's yep. had all year. But Griffins aren't getting good looks. They're 0 for 2 from the three-point line and don't really have a good, clean look yet. I think both teams have done a really they great have. job of guarding the perimeter. They're, they're really... I mean, the they two know teams are 0 for 6. And these are two teams that can really shoot the ball. Yeah, right, right. Tyus is out of the game. Sam Saganis will check in for him. So no Milholland, no Carroll in the game. They're top two scores. Ted Brown will catch it. Works on Alex John. This is not Cam Martin. Here's Brown, goes baseline left, and he got a shot blocked by Alex. Rebounded by Will Eames. Out left for Bo Baker. That doesn't happen very often. Bo has it near side and finds Sam Saganis. Sam guarded by Reggie Thorpe. He's in for Elijah Clark right now. 8.54 to go. Alex John has it top of the key. He looks for Reese Glover cut baseline. Now backdoor cut. Sam Saganis leans in on Ted Brown. Boy, contact and a foul call. It was a foul, it was just a late whistle. Yeah. <laughs> it was it was the old uh if it, if it went it yes. wasn't a call it didn't go. Good for Sam to attack yeah. that time no, and come no, off the no. bench. And again, he's a veteran that he doesn't get too high, too low. You know yeah, what I mean? I think we lose track of the fact that he's been around a yeah. little bit, you know. He's he came out of a good program. Uh, you know, he was of, a teammate with Ted Brown at Concordia Saint Paul, who just fouled him. <laughs> Free throw missed by Sam. He is now two for three on the season. Well, I agree with you, though. I like I like having Sam in there. He's, he's been in, he's been in games. He's been in big games. He's played against good opponents. All right, can this lineup Score. stay in the basketball <laughs> game right now? You're down yeah. three. Sam just missed a free throw. Cam Martin is back in. You have two true freshmen, a backup point guard who never plays because of TC, and then your third big guy in the game. Can this lineup hang in this game? They're only yeah, down two right now. We don't have quite the quickness that we normally do no. either with this lineup. Now they're without Elijah Clark, but Griffins are without their top two scores on the floor right now. 
and four of their five starters are sitting on the bench. Left side, back up top for Martin. They reverse the basketball. Griffin's in zone right now, aren't they? Near side, Parker Jennings spins up top for Martin. He takes the three-point shot, and it is no good. Rebound, tipped by Lambert, and it's going to be loose and won by Glover. Good job of the freshman from Franklin, Tennessee, to get in there and grab that loose ball. They struggle with that at times, grabbing loose balls, and because Southern, with their veteran savvy and just that, that toughness you get from playing basketball games over the course of your career in this league, good pump fake. Now here's Reese. Finding Will Williams, catch and shoot left wing three, and it is no good. Rebound for Cam Martin defensively. I feel like we're dodging bullets on Cam Martin's yep. threes. Here's a three-pointer by Lambert. Transition, nothing but net. 19-14, Missouri Western down five. Now biggest deficit in the game. Here's Sam Saganas. He's going to pull for three quickly, miss it short. Rebound, one by Eames offensively. Kicks it out. But that's probably not the shot you want. That no, early, a little you? too early. And, and right now we need to, to use a little clock, move the ball, and stay in the game. JT on the far side right. He has it on the right wing. Glover tries to find a shot. Can't get it. Now 101 is JT going to pull from 14. Got it. Again, he's got Thorne Size. guarding him. and Size. It's 6'6 six, six against 6 feet or maybe not even 6 feet tall. 19-16, big shot for Jerron Thames. Reggie Tharp has it, dribble handoff for Walker. Tries to get downhill to the basket, leans in, finds Martin. He goes in and crams it with two hands. Helping off was Tony Chukwemeke and Cam Martin wide open for the two-hand jam. I think we're lucky the basket survived that one. That <laughs> was thunderous. 21-16, Griffins are down five. Sam Saganis left side. Boy, JT was wide open. They finally find him late. Near side, going to back his way on Tharp now. Back his way. Spin baseline. Go over the top. Shot is good. That is not a good matchup for Missouri I, Southern. I, I don't get that. I, I just don't understand. I know Boshi's, you know, he, he knows the same thing. I, I think he's mad at him for something, and it has to be for the matchup. Jennings crosses over. High floating shot. No good. Tony battles for the rebound. No over the back on Cam Martin. Good job by Chukumake. Here comes Glover in transition. Pulls for a deep three. Bingo! It lights Looney on fire and ties the game at 21. That was deep in transition. Boy, that was it. He's been wanting to shoot it. That's he all has. Yeah, there's no question. He, he's saying, let me shoot one. On the right side, Cam Martin turns and faces on Tony. They dig down. Dig down again, picks up his dribble. And the pass out high almost goes to the backcourt. Good defense by Reese that time. Jennings, nine to shoot up top for Lambert. Martin posting down low. Deep three at the top is no good. Rebound by Saganis. Great defensive possession. 5.45 to go. This lineup not only is staying in the game, they can take the lead. Saganis will walk it across the timeline. Williams will come get it now. Going to post up Reggie Tharp again. Why not? Backs his way. They dig down on him. Now JT picks it up, finds Glover, top of the key, circles back around, in the lane, Reese floats one up, and the shot is gone! The freshman finding ways to score now, he's given the Griffins a two-point lead, it's a 7 nothing run! 5-14 to play, Cam Martin had no, he didn't even want to go back. I know, the shot. I know, I, I just I said the smallest guy in the floor got off a layup, and here's going to happen again. Now Tharp to the basket, gets the lane the and scores, thing. got and right we, by Sam. We did the same thing, We everyone backed off, and... Coach Wick's going to slow things down a little bit again. We're trying but to buy some time here in this time. game. Right, yes. And, and it's a good move. And it's tied up right now. Why not? JT going to post up law pass from the baseline. Double team. Passes out of it for Eames. Fades away in the corner for three. It rattles around. No good. Tony almost had it. JT will pull it out. Left open. He shoots yep. the three and it's off to the right. And now Eames is injured on the near sideline as he went after and shot the basketball. He's grabbing his left ankle it looks like he's at missouri western proud to feed the griffins this is griffin guard jonathan mesmack you're listening to missouri western basketball on the griffin sports network four and a half to go here in this first half griffins and southern tied at 23 the 17th ranked lions and the griffins who have won nine of their last 10 basketball games the one loss came to southern last saturday they lost by 10 on the road. Here's Lambert, left of lane, can't get anywhere. Now back up top for Braylon Walker. Cam Martin trying to post up on Alex John, the freshman. Martin catches it about 10 feet out, spins baseline right underneath, and he get, got bumped, but no call. He stepped out of bounds, and a turnover on Cam Martin. Good job by Alex John. He has 16 points and six rebounds, but... I think they switched, they finally switched... Uh... Lambert on uh, Jerome, which I, I think I'm surprised it took him that long yeah. to do it. 
Tyus Mulholland back in for Reese Glover. And also back in the game is Bo Baker. He sets a screen. Tyus step back, fakes a three in the corner for Sam Saganas. He'll jab a couple of times. 13 to shoot. Off the screen, top of the key. Sam tries to drive. Jump pass down low for Alex John across the lane. It got deflected. It goes out of bounds. Boy, right idea for Alex, but it got deflected and... Coach Wicks is saying, hey, just go score the basketball. Don't, yeah. don't be a passer. <laughs> yeah. Now well, Reese will check in for Sam. So now tie us back to the point. Well, now they've got more offense back in. Though. Yep. That, that, he I, does. I think that's important. See if that, that rest on the bench helps tie us a little bit. Calm down in this game. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that and the pills. <laughs> <laughs> no. Here's an inbound from Milholland high on the right side. Elijah Clark back in with two fouls. Tyus goes to the basket off the glass. No good. Battle for the rebound on the ground. It's won by Glover. A deep three straight away. Yes, sir! From 27 or so feet, Reese Glover. And now an injured Kinzer Lambert from Missouri Southern. I mean, yeah. I was watching recent warm-ups, and everything was hitting the bottom of Anderson has checked in some minutes here in the first half. He gives Bo Baker a breather as they brought in Christian Bundy for Kinzer Lambert. The benches, who we didn't expect to play a big role, playing a big role yeah, here in the first half. No doubt. And Reese Glover, the biggest bench piece, is lighting this place up here in the first half. Walker off the screen, pulls from 16 feet straight away. No good. JT, oh, Ooh. it rolls around. Boy, that... That hit about every part of the rim. 26-25, Walker gets the bucket. Tyus Milholland across the timeline with 3-10 to go. This is a big three minutes to close out the first time. Right. High rise side. Backdoor cut for Glover. Tough shot off the glass. He floats it on the back door from Milholland before Martin, Martin could get there. What a shot by Glover. He's got 10 here in the first half. Dave, that was really a hard shot. I don't Unbelievably think people, yeah, really. Uh, the, they have There's it. Tharp in the lane, contested by Alex John, and JT goes and grabs the rebound. Boy, the freshmen are stepping up in Glover, Thames, John. Now a redshirt freshman, and Zach Anderson to catch, and fakes a three, and they call it travel. And that's what Coach Wicks is saying. You were out there to shoot the rock. Yeah, Let that gonna, thing yeah. fly. I was just going to was exactly what I was going to say. Is it, hey, we don't, that need baby your, we don't need your ball handling. We don't need your drive. We need you to shoot the ball. 28-25. the way difference. you did the other night. Yeah, exactly. Here's Tharp. Gets by Jerron Thames up top for Elijah Clark. Deep three. He rattles home. He and Lambert don't need a lot of space. And they're, they, they're long players, too. They can get it off on about anybody. Now it's tied at 28 with 2.18 to play here in the first half. Glover straight away has it. Looks like Lambert's going to come back in the game. Goes to the right side. Yep, he's at the scores table. Alex John down low. Goes baseline jump hook. Off the glass on Martin is good. Boy, the freshmen are showing up here in the first half against this senior and junior laden Lion Bunch. Tharp picks up his dribble, hands it back for Christian Bundy. Here's Walker on a dribble handoff. Down low for Martin. He spins baseline right off the glass. They call a foul. It's good. Chance for a three-point play. Well, that was that was a man showing a young a young man yep. how to be a man, and, and that that'll be one fifty-one to play here in the first half. Lions at the foul line with Cam Martin. He has he has eighteen of their 30, 7 of eleven shooting, four four at the foul line, six rebounds. You know, Dave, here I know it is good. We have a long way to go in this game and everything else, but just to show the defense and the intensity, it's 31 to 30 on, with a team that averages about 81 plus point, yeah, 81 in the MIAA. Right side, Tyus pulls from the right elbow, rolls around, no good, tipped out, one by Milholland, left of the lane of the basket, scoop layup is good, a crafty move by Tyus Milholland to give the Griffiths the lead back. He's got that move down really well right now. The right hand on the left side, I, I really do like it. A sneaky quick layup, and now illegal screen set by Clark, that's number three on a dribble handoff, illegal screen, Elijah Clark picks up number three. Flavor of the day. There's no doubt about it. And when that one, ha- I think, was no, legit. No. When you hand the right. ball off, you have to stop. You cannot. You can't continue on. And that's what they're getting them on. Boy, that is a big, big foul. Number three on Clark, and that's the danger by putting that guy back in the game. That's, that's right. That's why TC hasn't played the rest of this. Well, half. as long as you can stay in a game, yes. like TC doesn't. Off need the screen, to. open three, rising fire is Reese. It's wide right this time. He got a decent look, not quite as good, but he just missed it wide right. Goes out of bounds and will be Southern basketball. I mean, it's just like we're disappointed because the poor kid missed the <laughs> Every shot. Every time he you know, lets it fly, yeah, I think that's it's right. good. And sure. from anywhere right now, I mean, he's really feeling it right now. He's two for three tonight, and now in his last five basketball games, Reese Glover is 22 out of 38 from three. 
Right side for Thark. Tries to drive on Jerron. JT gets down in the stance. In the lane. They feed it for Martin. He's a oh. wide open for three. And it is no good. He's 0 for 4. Rebound comes down to Lambert for Jennings. He'll try a three. It is no good. Rebound. And it's going to be ran down on the ground. Off of Missouri Southern. Griffins fight and get a defensive rebound that goes out of bounds with 46.4 to go. Western a one-point lead. The crowd's starting to get into this maybe a little bit more. There's uh, there's no room for the uh, weak here. Oh. That's for sure. Let's strap it on today, baby. Yep. Griffin's with 40 on the clock. Get a screen to the left. Pass down low for Tony gets free! Tony Chukwemeke gets the bounce pass from Tyus Milholland. Timeout, Jeff Boshi. Tony has scored five points the entire year when they need him most. A lot of times, you know, if you don't, if you don't get off to a good start, you yeah. never get your rhythm the entire game, so you don't know. He's a 32.9% three-point shooter. Not a great three-point shooter, but capable and made two last week in Joplin. He was two for six. 34-31, they can hold for one. Griffins could have a lead here at the break. At worst, be tied. Reggie Thart dribbles high on the left side. JT guards him. 12 seconds. Gets a double screen top of the key. Tharp keeps a dribble. They find Martin going to post up on the near side right. Backs his way. They dig down. Jump hook over two defenders. is short. No good. Tipped up. Tony's got the rebound. And the Griffins have the lead of the 17th ranked team in the country at halftime. 34-31. An excellent first half of basketball, especially from the bench. They have So Reese Glover will start the second half. They'll go with their three guards of Tyrell Carroll, Reese Glover, and Tyus Milholland with Jerron Thames and Tyree Martin. So no Bo Baker, no Will Ames here in the second half to start. Anyway, at least for Bo. Not a lot of size, but a lot of quickness here for us. Yep. I think that's the, that's the most important thing. And Elijah Clark will start the second half with three fouls. He's going to take a jumper on the right wing. It is good. 17-foot jumper is good. He got a screen from Cam Martin that was a screen, believe me. <laughs> Freed uh, him up for an easy look. Tyus ran into it. 34-33, Griffins by one. Here's a handoff. Nope, they'll fake the handoff. JT goes one-on-one on Lambert, leans in, and the shot rejected by Martin out of bounds. He volleyball spikes that thing. Well, that was an interesting, uh, it was almost like he just kept pushing and pushing, and, mm-hmm. and can, Martin came out of nowhere to block. Well, inbound baseline to our right. TC finds Tyree, now a handoff for Tyrell Carroll. Tries to get downhill to the basket. Hangs in the air. Got a shot blocked by Lambert, but it leaks out. Now a deep three right wing for Glover. Too strong, no good. Tipped out by Tyree. He's got to grab the basket. Yeah, I think he could have had that ball. I think he could have, yeah. too. Here comes Jennings in transition. Top of the key. Near side left for Lambert. Rips goes baseline left. Jab or a drop step. And he's going to get it down low. And Tyree blocks the shot of Cam Martin. TC in transition. Cut off. Looks for trailers. Finds Reese top of the key. Off the bounce. Left of the lane. Spins in the lane. He'll kick it right side for JT. Jerron now will rise up and take a three. It's way off the mark, no good. Air ball that time, and Coach Wicks puts his palms in there like, what are you doing? A couple of freshmen starting the second half here for the Griffs. Here's a bad pass by Parker Jennings, intercepted by Missouri Western's Jerron Thames. They feed it for Tyus in transition. His three is way too strong, not even close, and Jennings gets fouled on the rebound. Ooh. They are just letting it fly us, not even close right now from three. It's a little sloppy right now. Not a good start to the second half. Fortunately, Southern has had back-to-back turnovers. Right. I, I mean, they haven't been any better, so no. it, has, it hasn't been a case of uh, just us. Braylon Walker will inbound it. The foul on Jerron Thames was number one on JT. Jennings across the timeline. Started by Tyrell Carroll. To the near side left is Braylon Walker. Look down low for Cam Martin. Tyree battling in a hold on Tyree's number three. Tyree just cannot stay out of foul trouble against Cam Martin. It, it is it is really physical in there. I mean, it, I mean they're they're letting him go, and then but you have to get control of it. Tyree played about eight minutes down in Joplin last week, and he just cannot play without fouling. Now an inbound for Clark. He's left open. They don't help out. He's got an open three. Boy, he almost pushed off there. He almost had his fourth. He and Tyus were kind of battling a little bit right there. Yeah. Tyus didn't recover enough. 36-34, Southern the first five points of the second half. Handoff for Tyus, fakes a three. Off the bounce to the basket. Off the glass and in over Cam Martin. 
I like his aggressiveness off yeah. the glass because Martin's not coming over and blocking that many shots. You know, he's yeah, Martin's just uh, he's. So you can kind of go at him a little bit. He's concerned about fouls. Now, I yep. would go after him a little bit. Lambert in the lane. He'll fade away, and the shot is good. Boy, they've come out, starting to hit some shots now. They're down two, 38-36. The Griffins are left to right. They come. Well, defensively, we have not come out with the same intensity. We no. need to be a little t- more intense defensively, more sure of what we're doing. Jennings now guards TC. Going to pull up 18-foot jumpers. No good in a foul on Parker Jennings. He got up in him too much that time, and TC will get a couple of free throws. 17-33 to play. We are in the second half. TC trying to tie the basketball game up. And if you're just joining us, no Will Eames. He injured either his ankle or Achilles, it looks like. And now TC misses the free throw. He's been struggling at times with the, his free throw, shooting 68%. And now Sam Sagas will check in for Tyus just to, again, kind of calm Tyus down a little bit. And he left Clark open for three, and yeah. I think that got him out of the game. Second free throw good for Tyrell Carroll. 38-37, Lions with a one-point lead. Two and a half gone by second half. Lambert catches far side right, jabs up top for Clark. Cam wants the basketball. A lob it down low for Cam Martin. Works on Tony Chukumake. Backs his way, spins baseline left to the basket. Off the glass and in. He loves that move, that yeah. speed of the baseline. And he's strong. Yep. You know, he's really strong. He creates space in, in there in, with his body. Good start now to the basket. Drawn Thames to the rim. He got a shot blocked and no foul called on Martin. Coach Wicks wanted a foul call that time. 40-37. Here's the drive by Walker. His finger roll, Ooh, no wow. good. Clubber a rebound. Here comes recent transition, finds TC. Tyrell going to go one-on-one in the lane. Hesitates to the basket. Right hand layup is good. Crafty move by Tyrell Carroll around Elijah Clark. 40-39, Southern by one. Here's Parker Jennings near side left. Pass to the top of the key for Lambert. Works on Jerron Thames. Leans in and drew a foul on JT. They wave the shot off. So Lambert's uh, starting to assert himself a little bit yep, more he is. in the game. Clark and Lambert both are. Clark took a couple of early shots. Lambert now has done some good things here in the second half. So those two starting to step up around Cam Martin. There's a lob pass from Martin on the baseline near side. 15 feet spins baseline. Good defense. He goes to his right though and a jump hook is good. Step through the double team and scores. That's pretty tough to stop. Yeah, Not much you can do. Really, Cam. really tough to stop. That's a big time move. 23 now for Cam Martin. 42-39, Griffin's right now trailing by three. Bo Baker's checked in. Parker Jennings going to guard him. Bo back top of the key for TC. Tyrell on a switch, guarded by Jennings. Wants to go one-on-one. Goes baseline, pulls up from 15. Fade away is an air ball, no good. Bo Baker chases it down, gets knocked down. No foul called, and the arrow is with Missouri's, Missouri Western. Yeah. Griffin's have it. Good hustle all the way around, but especially Bo Baker. Four oh five gone by second half. Can they sustain this without Williams? Also, no hole in that in the game right now. Bo Baker high left side gives it for Tyrell Carroll. Now Sam Saganas catches left side. Sam up top for Glover. Reese guarded by Lambert. A little more length on Reese now. Ten seconds. Gets free. Lambert fell down. Takes the three point shot and rattles it in. Reese Glover got free after Lambert fell down. He's tied the game at forty two. He is cold-blooded. I thought maybe he'd feel guilty about the you know, charge. Ooh. Now Martin, a traveling violation on Cam Martin. Just might have got away with a little physicality down low, but they'll take it. Griffin's left to right. Chance to regain the lead. 42 apiece. Four and a half gone by second half. TC hesitates. Left of the lane. Leans in. Off the glass. And in on Parker Jennings. Western regains the lead. Well, that's a mismatch there, too, by the way. Parker Jennings. They're taking advantage of Jennings right now. They they can't guard. You can't guard uh, Tyrell. They look down low. Tony going to guard. Cam Martin back up top for Lambert. Bo Baker tries to guard Lambert. He got a step on him. Bo blocked the shot from behind, but he got a too close in him, and Lambert got a step on him. It's going to take us to a timeout. Be on the floor. They'll inbound when we return. 14, 15.
think so too. I, I, I mean, there's no question. Earlier in the year, you know, he'd have trouble guarding yep. anybody. Right now, right now, he's not having that trouble. Just because he's playing hard. That's 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 one of the. the Reese has 13 to lead the Griffins in scoring. Cam Martin catches the inbound, has it near side. Tony will guard him. And now kicked basketball as Elijah Clark tried to get it down low for Cam Martin. 20 on the shot clock, 14.52 to go, second half. Griffins lead at 44-42. Parker Jennings will inbound it. Baseline left. Cam Martin comes to get it. He's got it on the baseline from 15 feet out. Jabs in the lane. Running jump hook is good again. Boy, he has got a soft touch he does. the basket. It, it's just amazing. 25 now for Cam Martin. I think he's the best big man I've seen ever in this league. That's saying something, too. Well, there was one at, at Baptist. I can't remember. but he, Matt Rogers. Yeah. Right. Here is Bo Baker. Right side. TC will catch it. Go baseline right. Spin back. Get it to the other side. Has it on the wing. Ten seconds to shoot. Going to go one-on-one. Step back. Three-point shot from Tyrell Carroll. A short no good. Cam Martin, a defensive rebound. That's his eighth board in the game. And that's not what we want. No. That's, uh, here's Walker. Goes baseline left. Good defense by Saganis. Lost the ball. It's going to be off of Sam. It'll stay with Missouri Southern, and Jerron Thames will check into the game for Bo Baker. 14-11 to go here in the second half, tied at 44. I'll tell you what, Sam has done a good job on Braylon. He Walker. has. Really, the last couple of possessions really have done well. Inbound for Cam Martin, has in the corner, going to fake a three-point shot on the bounce. They dig down, and TC steals it away. Here comes Tyrell Carroll in transition, finds Glover, catch and shoot three. In and out, no good. Tony battles for the rebound, but it's won by Elijah Clark. Every shot he takes is usually halfway down or good. Well, I was still rattling around. There's no <laughs> doubt about it. Uh-oh. Now Clark tries for a three, and it is no good. JT, a rebound. Lambert almost over the back. Outlet for Tyrell Carroll. Spins in the lane, back up top, finding Glover. Nope, it's Saganis on the near side. He'll drive in the lane, fakes one way, goes the other, fades away, no good. Ball tipped by JT, won by Cam Martin defensively. Not a good look by No, no Sam's Sam. got to do a better job. You know, he doesn't, don't go hunting. You yes. don't have to go hunting. Just let it come to you. Right side, Jennings circles to the baseline up top for Clark. Fakes a three. Step back with defense by Sam Martin's left open. He'll let it fly, and the shot is good. Finally made the one he was well, over Well, we dodged a lot of bullets yep. on him, and, and, then, and you can see he's got the nice touch. He does. Um, 28 and 9 for Cam Martin. Jeez. He makes it look pretty easy. He really. He, I, and you can't say he's hogged it or anything. No. You know, that he's, that he's. Here's TC top of the key. Right side for Jerron. He'll try for the answer for three, and the shot rattles around. No good. And a rebound for Kinzer Lambert defensively. Griffins are searching for some quick answers right yeah. now. Yeah. we got to be like careful. Shot we don't selection. look for easy answers right. Here's Jennings off the bounce to the basket, and he got tied up in a jump ball. Southern will get the possession arrow. Tyus Milholland, Tyree Martin will check back into the basketball game for Saganis and Tony Chukumake. Griffins down three. Neither team has allowed a big run from the other right now. Biggest lead for Southern is five. Biggest for the Griffins is four. Lambert catches top of the key. Here's a three-point shot from Kinzer Lambert. Short, no good. Rebound for Martin and a foul on Tyree Martin. Again, he cannot be on the floor with Cam Martin and not foul. He just cannot stay out of foul trouble against him. And he almost tries to be too physical with him. Well, I, I, I... I like the call. The call's right. I mean, he... he I agree. He, did, yeah. he tried yes. to block out, but you can't undercut him. It's not. the right call. He just... He's got a... He's played five minutes in the game and has four fouls. Yeah. For this team to be what they can be, he's got to be on the floor. Especially against this team. Lambert catches top key. Reggie Tharp is checked in. He's in for Parker Jennings. Lambert works on JT. Runs him over, and it's going to be a blocking foul on Jerome Things. Did the shot go in? No, I don't think it. No, I think he called it on the ground yeah. on the floor. He did. And the Griffin fans don't like that. I think that's the right call too. JT got beat. You know, with Lambert and Clark, their ability to shoot the basketball, they're hard to defend off the balance because you've got to play them tight, right, right? Because they can shoot the rock. Tharp will inbound it. He'll lob it for Martin in the corner. Alex John now in to guard him. He'll take the three, and the shot is good. Back-to-back threes for Cam Martin. It's up to a six-point lead for Southern, their biggest lead of the game. Take your time. It's a long, long way to go. Bo Baker spins baseline right. Gets in the air. Long way to go. They need to, to settle down right. offensively. Right. Here's Tyus Milholland. Lots of time left. Pass down low for Alex John. Goes in. 
Rolling up was was Cam Martin now down low. A travel on Alex Young. Slow down. They're going way too fast right now. They're trying for quick answers. Right. They are not playing team basketball. They only have four assists in the game, Coach. That is not the M.O. of this team during this run. No, it's not. I didn't, Dave, I didn't expect us to have a, a lot of assists because of the quickness and the athletic ability of both teams. You're not going to get as many as you do against a team that's not as good, but you've got to have more than what we have. Up top for Martin again, fakes a three, right side for Clark. On the bounce, he crosses over. Up top for Tharp, 16 to shoot. And on the right side is Cam again. He'll try a three-point shot that is good. He's made three in a row, and he has made it now. A nine-point Missouri Southern lead. Here's Tyus Milholland spins and a blocking yeah. foul on Elijah Clark and just a dumb foul, honestly. Well, he almost couldn't get out of the way. Yeah, he, he, that's he, his fourth. Timeout, Sundance Wicks. Got to take it right now. Three straight Cam Martin threes. He's got three. And the cleanest gas station in town. As always, at your St. Joseph IV, you fuel with a discount just by shopping with your fuel saver card. Enjoy life. Shop at hy V at 201 North Bell. Western inbounds baseline on our right down nine now. Biggest deficit in the game after three consecutive Cam Martin three-point shots. Milholland will try for a three left wing. Got it! Big shot. Big shot. Tyus Milholland. They drew it up and got it to go down. Western only down six. Well, he hasn't done very much from the three. If he can get himself going, that'll be a big plus. That's his first one tonight. Top of the key for Reggie Tharp. Now Braylon Walker comes and gets it. Cam Martin has 34 points in this game and 10 rebounds. Top of the key, a deep three again for Martin, and the shot is good. He's made four consecutive threes and has 37 points. Well, he's convinced me he can shoot it. I, I didn't. I, I, well, you can tell in the first half anyway. He's got such a nice touch. Bo Baker here in the near side right has the mismatch. Spins baseline right. The shot is no good. They wave it off. A foul on Tharp. Even with Bo trying to get the mismatch with Tharp right now, and now Jerron's going to check back in for him. Now Alex John will check back in to guard Cam Martin. In the game is Jerron Thames for Bo Baker. You know, Dave, the referees have really done a good job in this game. You really have, for the most part. High on the right side, Tyus gets a screen to the right side. Going to cross over. No look, feed down low for Alex John. He lays it up and scores. <laughs> Wanted to dunk it. Was kind of off balance and just lays it in. Great pick and great, roll that time with great Tyus. Pass. Left hand, no look. That's where that's where how Tyrus can get himself in this game more than anything else, and then hit the threes. 56-49. Reggie Tharp off the bounce to the basket. Left hand layup, no good. Rebound for JT. Jerron grabs it, and the Griffins have it. They move left to right down seven. Jerron Thames goes one on one to the basket. Got stripped. He regathers, has it in the lane. No look pass across the lane. Trying to dunk it is Alex John, and it's knocked out of bounds. And they call a foul on Cam Martin. Alex will get a couple of free throws. He lands square on his back. In the rim for a second and trying to dunk it. That might be a break for the Griffins. But they'll take it, and Alex John to the free throw line. You know, I mean, I'm just watching Cam Martin. He just he didn't smile. He didn't didn't make one free reaction throw good from that. Alex. You know what I like right there? A true freshman says, hell with it. I'm going to go try and dunk it on maybe the best player in the league. <laughs> right now, he's convinced me he's pretty good. No, I, I like that, too. I think Alex John is going to be fine. He is going to be yeah, good. Yeah, he's going to be a good player. Second free throw, good. good They're only down good, five, good, good. Coach, despite this good run shake. from Southern. No, no, I, and we have not we have not played as well in the second half here. You know, I think we're settling down right now. It feels like we're settling down a little bit. Reggie Thorpe up top, Cam Martin. Backdoor cut and an easy layup. Jerron Thames fell asleep that time. Kinzer Lambert gets an easy lay-in. 58-51, Western down seven now. Here's a lot past JT. Open look for three, not and this one's too strong. Yeah, not crazy about that shot, and it's not JT's game. He's right a now. 29% three-point shooter, and he's taken some quick ones here, and he's 0 for 3 from beyond the right. arc. It's not, uh, he's he's a, a penetration, uses size. Get, get, the... get that mismatch, and now a foul on Alex John going to be on the floor but that is team foul number seven i believe on the griffins it's going to send us to a timeout you know roger schmitz has made a couple play, a couple calls like that where it's really close to being in, in the act and he's made the right call yeah. Bad, and he has 37 points after 45 last week and 33 at northwest on thursday right here late in the year they're starting to really feed him and he is he is taking over Thart this is the free throw and rebound taken down by bo baker Bowen for Jerron, mainly for defensive purposes. 
Here comes Tyrell Carroll, far side left. A little matchup. They're a, they could try and well, here's an open three from Tyus. He connects on the far side left. It was a junk defense that time, but they didn't guard Tyus well enough. They were man to man with he, TC, and Reese. Essentially a two man zone down low. Cam Martin has it top of the key. Alice gets up on him and ooh, now it'll be a one on one for Cam Martin. And honestly, they let that go in the first half. Yeah, it, it really, um, the little officials made probably 80% of the calls in the second half, and he needs to settle down too. Cam Martin's free throw is good. Sometimes they get caught up in a moment. Same way. 59-54 Southern. It's too good a game to, to not let, you know, make sure the players decided. But looks like Tyus is, is heating up a little yep. bit too. That's big. Both foul shots good. <clears throat> seven for seven. 14 of 20 to one. Four of eight from three. Seven for seven from the free throw line. 39 now for Cam Martin. It's a junk defense. Here's a try. It is. Two. Here's down low. Bo Baker feeds it across the lane for Alex. John, the layup is good. Boy, they're carving it up right now, too. Yeah, I don't get that. I, I'm, I'm really surprised that Boshi's done that because their, their defense was playing fine. Top of the key. Martin fakes a three. Tries to drive on Alex John to the basket. And he blocked the shot. Rebounded by Tyrell Carroll. They've got a five on four right now. TC accelerates to the basket. Higgs scores off the glass with English and a timeout for Jeff Boshi. And now still about Milhan. Fakes a three. TC tries for the lead. Boom! He got it. Tyrell Carroll has given the Griffins a 61 60 lead with 8.23 to go here in the second half. And then he gets a layup. Alex now has eight points and three rebounds in the game. And athletic enough that Cam is kind of, he's drifting the perimeter right now, too. Yeah. Let's see if he gets back on the block. Looks to be right now. 8-16 to play, second half. Tharp on the right side. Martin's going to post. And a foul on, again, you have got you can't use the elbow. No. That's the one thing. Right. He got the elbow right in his back, and you just can't do it. And they're trying to, to make sure that it, it, this doesn't get out of hand right now. Uh, you know, I hope they do it on both both ends. Yeah. So I mean, but that's what he's saying. Coach Wicks is talking to him. Hands up. Keep your hands off of him. Body him. Cam Martin gets a one on one. He hasn't missed a free throw against Western this year. He was 17 for 17 there. He's now eight for eight here. I'm glad you said it. That was a, a jinx. It'll, he'll miss it now for sure, right? That's a jinx. He's got 40 with 8.09 to go. Well, <laughs> he really didn't even hit the Boy, net. He just has a great touch for a big kid, for anybody. Makes them both. His big career big. high, if you're wondering, is 49. Left side for Milholland, fakes a three down low, feet across the lane for Tyree, couldn't handle the pass, on the ground, grabs it, throws it out. Tyus fakes a three and gets ran into. Was he shooting her on the floor? Or it's going to be on the floor. It's going to yeah. be on the floor, yeah. <laughs> right, Coach Boshi was just making sure. Yeah. <laughs> 62-61, Griffins are down one. Walker helped him up, to go. I'm sorry, you know, my, my fault, my bad. Tyrell Carroll, top of the key. TC's trying to get going a little bit here, too. Kinsler Lambert trying to guard him. Goes one-on-one. -on -one. Circles back. Finds Tyree Martin. Down low. Jump hook for Tyree. Going over Cam Martin. Took his time. Good jump hook like we saw on Thursday. Really nice. Good touch. 63-62. Reed just can't pick up that fifth foul. And he just did. Tyree just can't guard him. He is no... He tried to get up in him, and he just, he, yeah, you don't want him to shoot the three, but you can't do that. Well, if Tyree could play more minutes, this would be a much different game, just yeah. because he can he could challenge Martin on the uh, on the offensive end. And now they're over the 10 foul limit, so free throws coming for Cam Martin. He'll get two. A bad foul for Tyree Martin. Makes the free throw. TC's trying to get his head a little bit, and he makes the free throw and just shakes his head. Nah, I'm good. <laughs> 42 for Cam Martin. Got them both. 
Well, it's just great to see this quality of play this all the way big around. Time game. Yeah, it yeah. just is. 64-63, Missouri Southern. Tyrell Carroll across the timeline. TC right side for Tyus Milholland. He's got two guys kind of shadowing him a little bit. TC tries, or Tyus tries to drive down low for both. He's across the lane for Tony. Step through, finds Tyus, fakes the pass, now gets to Reese. He'll elevate and fire and hits the bottom of the net. Extra feed from Milholland to Glover, and the Griffins regain the lead. That's a big time shot from Reese in the corner. Here's Thart, circles around, gets it knocked away out of bounds by Tyrell Carroll. 6.54 to go in the second half. 66-64. Big time players stepping up right now. Well, that was just a big time shot. No Reese has 16 on 6 of 9, shooting 4 of 7 from 3. On the right side is Parker Jennings. Up top for Martin. He's going to take a deep 3, and the shot is no good finally. And a rebound for Bo Baker. Now can the Griffs extend the lead? Here's Reese in transition. Goes baseline right. Skip the pass for Tyus. And here he goes. It's too strong. No good. Great find by Reese. Just missed it. Now they're starting to play some team basketball. Yeah, they're starting to move the ball and look for open people. Six and a half to play here in the second half. 66-64. Thart goes baseline right to the basket. He missed the layup. Tipped out. And it's going to be saved back in. But out of bounds. It was off of Tyrell Carroll. And the official falls down and... The Griffins and some of the football players on the baseline help him up. Reggie Tharp is really having a hard time in this game. You know, had a hard time finishing. It, yeah, really. We're good enough to play with these people. But, boy, a win would be really It important. would be big. It would be enormous. It did go off of Tyrell Carroll. It will be Southern basketball baseline to our left. That's underneath the Southern basket. 6-19 to play. We are in the second half. Law pass for Cam Martin. Almost knocked away by Tony. Going to try and back his way on Chukwemeke. Kicks it out for Jennings. A deep three, top of the key, and the shot is way off the mark. Offensive rebound for Clark, and now it's going to be a foul on Bo Baker. Boy, that's just a couple guys going after the basketball, isn't it? No, I think so, too, on a, on a loose ball. Well, I, t- I tell you what, Jennings having real trouble. He, he doesn't look comfortable at all. And he's, a, he's, he's a really good shooter. Yes. Boy, that's a tough that's call. That's a tough call. That's a really tough call. Two guys just going after the basketball. Elijah Clark of the foul line has not missed a free throw in league games. He has not missed a free throw in league games. Dang it, still hasn't. He is 31 out of 31 in the MIAA from the foul line. On the season, 91.8%. He's due, isn't he? He's due to miss him? <laughs> yeah. Maybe nope. <laughs> nothing but that again. Put him on the line again. We'll get him next time. They are now 13 out of 14 at the foul line. Well, you, you just have to admire both both of these teams. Big shots, big free throws, big plays. 66 apiece. Glover catches far side left. Reese has been a big part of this, too. Off the screen, Tyus. He'll come get it top of the key now. 15 to shoot. Gets a screen to his left. No Holland. Tony will set a screen. He's going to go away now. from it. Take a deep three. Knock down. And they call a foul on Cam Martin from the Griffin bench. He contested the three, and Cam Martin fouls Tyus Milholland. He'll get three free throws with 5.43 to play here in the second half. Wow. Tyus to the foul line, 81.1%. First free throw is good. Boy, the Griffins missed 12 free throws down in Joplin last week. They're six of nine in this game. Two more for Tyus. He's given the Griffins a lead back. Now it's a two-point lead. He gets one more. He's he's made the first two. Got all of them. Three-point Griffin lead, 69-66 against the 17th-ranked team in the country and the number three team in the region right now. Elijah Clark, top of the key. Here is Braylon Walker now away from the ball. There was something out of bounds. He went out of bounds and came back in. Wow. So an unforced error for Braylon Walker, and he was the first to touch it. So a turnover on Southern. That is a big call. Griffins have it back and can extend the lead now. 69-66. Tyrell Carroll gets a screen from Tony on the right side, uses it. Goes downhill, right of the lane. He dumps it down low for Tony. Deflected, Ooh. gets it back. Tony tries to score off the glass. No good. Martin blocked it. Tony got a little bit too. Well, we got a break when I hit the, rim, yeah. hit the backboard and came right to Tony. Right side. Cam Martin posting up on Tony. 
Can they lob it for him? They will. He's going to catch about 18 feet out. Now back his way down. They dig down late on him. Gets in the lane. Wild shot, and they call it. Ooh, boy. It was a travel, wasn't it? Ooh, I thought so. Going to send us to a timeout. Martin will get Go free throws. Saying, Calm down, everybody. <laughs> Coach Wicks is saying the same thing. Yeah. That should have been a travel. Yeah. In 66, the 17th ranked team in the country. With a win tonight, they can move within a half game of second and be in third all by themselves. Now, I guess they'd be tied with Southern for third place. Here's Cam Martin's first free throw, and it is good. Southern has two wins left, probably. Yeah. Yeah, they play Central Missouri and Lincoln at home. At home. Griffins get Northwest and Washburn at home. Cam Martin has 45 points for a second straight game against Missouri Western. We still have 453 left. Now, I'll tell you right now, if you can beat this team, you can beat uh, Northwest. He makes them both, so it's a one-point game. 4.45 to play here in the second half. Off the screen, Glover catches. Fades away, left wing three, no good. Battle for the rebound, and it goes out of bounds off of Kinzer Lambert. Coach Bosey says grab the basketball. Well, I <laughs> That's think what Coach Wicks was telling his team earlier. Yeah, it's both sides. I mean, Lambert really, really got up for that. but, but It's he a battle for every balance, rebound right now. a little bit, yep. and he lost his balance. It is. It is, because everyone knows how important every possession is. Reggie Tharp is back in the game for Braylon Walker. This should be a break for the Griffins. He has struggled to guard anybody that he's guarding, and now T.C. He's actually struggled offensively, too. T.C. goes one-on-one. Fakes, and now a foul going to be called on Reggie Tharp. There was that hesitation move that we saw against Missouri S&T on the winning shot, where it looks like he's going to pull up, and then he takes off. And now a one-on-one for Tyrell Carroll. All of these free throws, by the by the way, down the stretch, they're all magnified oh. right now with 4:24 to go. And you know what? You're going to see a lot of fouls here in the end. Uh, it's it's not. TC's free throw is good. He gets the bonus. Not going to be quite as, as uh, freewheeling as it was most of the game. Yeah. You're going to see a lot more fouls called right now because they're going to make sure that that they they, they don't allow anything to, to go on. 70 to 68. TC made the first. His second one is also good. Tyrell Carroll now 18 points in the game. He has 12 here in the second half. 71-68. Griffins by three again. Reggie Tharp across the timeline. Angles to the near side left. Comes to the near side. Now spins right side for Clark. Off the screen. He gets an open look, and he misses the three. Rebound by Alex John. Boy, Tyus fell down. fell down, too. Here comes Tyrell in transition. Hesitates right of the lane. Step back. Cam Martin now will pick him up. They have a mismatch down low. Clark guarding. TC in the lane, lost the dribble. Dribbles back out, finds Tyus, left wing, fakes a three, goes one-on-one. 13 to shoot. Now he wants to go one-on-one with Tharp. Gets a screen to his left. Now feeds it down low and threw it away. Terrible pass by Tyus Milholland. I'm not sure where he was wanting to throw that ball. It just wasn't in the right spot. Well, I I, I do think Alex Jones has to do something off of the screen. Yeah. Either pick and pop or pick and roll. And he didn't do anything. Tharp across the timeline. Both teams turn it over. Tharp to the top of the key. Three and a half to go here in this battle inside the field house. Cam Martin going to post up about 18 feet out. Backs his way. Spins baseline left of the basket. Oh, oh, oh. And now they get a foul on Alex John. There's nothing they can do. If, 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 if they are going to call that, yep. there's nothing can do little again. they can do to stop him from getting something off. That time Coach Wicks upset with Reese. I think he wanted him to dig down a little bit when he tried to spin move and try and get a steal, I believe. Well, I think you almost need to close in on him and close the gaps and not allow him to go anyplace and, you know, and just take the charge if he does and he has, make him give it up. He has 45 of their 68. Free throw is no good. He is human. He was due. He had been 30 out of 30 against Missouri Western. He has played all but one minute of this game. One more for Cam Martin. The free throw. Good. 71-69. Still a two-point Griffin lead. They've got the basketball left to right. We said he wasn't going to get 45 at least. He doesn't. Yep, you're right. 46 now. Tyus catches. Pulls up right elbow jumper. He's fouled. He missed the shot. Boy, it was close. And Kinzer Lambert. Boy, you can tell how teams now defend Glover, Milholland on the perimeter because they want to get up in them so much right now. Tyus will get two free throws. 13 for Tyus. He's, he's been hot here of late. Yeah. Free throw is good. Can get it back to a 
two-possession game now, 72-69, with 3.15 to go in the second half. One more for Tyus Milholland. Got them both. Four-point lead. 3.13 to play. Can the Griffins hang on? Big defensive stop yep. right here. Have to have it. Reggie Thorpe looks to the near side, picks up his dribble. Now he's going to be in trouble and finds Lambert. Goes right of the lane, and a reach and foul is going to be called. It's going to be on Bo Baker. Bo's getting too much in, in and putting a hand right in their face where he's not in a good defensive position right, right now. He's not, well, right now he's not moving his feet in, as much as anything else and, and getting in position. But yeah, I'll, I will say this right now. The driver, ooh, bad free throw. Lambert misses. The driver is being protected more right now than they were earlier in the game. Absolutely. That's it's not even close. No, no. I mean, any, you're, you're foolish not to take it to the basket right now because they're calling about 90% of it. Lambert misses the first free throw. Second one is... Good. Still, though, a three-point game. Western the lead in the basketball with three to play. Tyrell Carroll walks it across the timeline. Glover catches left side on the slot. Dribbles back to the top. And now a foul is going to well, be called. Yeah, Illegally did, yeah. set a screen. Tyrell Carroll away from the basketball. And that gives it back to Missouri Southern down just three. That's a big turnover. You know, they had a lot of early turnovers that really hurt. They can't have on Tyre, Tyrell, Tyrell or, I or Tyus. Tyrell. Yeah, they gave it to Tyus. Gave Tyus. I thought it was Tyus right here, yeah. Excuse me, I beg it's your all right. pardon. Top of the key with the basketball is Cam Martin again. Got it by Tony. Hand off for Elijah Clark. Now back for Martin. Tony gets up in him. Goes right of the lane. Spins back in the basket. Man, a tough shot is good and he's fouled. They count the bucket. You know, I'm not sure what, what Coach Woods really, really wants. Not, not that he's in, indecisive. I, I'm not sure watching him. I think he, I think he's saying, you know, when he turns his back, you got to go at him. Yeah. Um, I think you're exactly right. You know, I think you're right. And because that's what we, we, he has 49. He converts the three point plays, tied a career high. Stepping on. Here we go. 73 apiece with 224 to go. Braylon Walker back in the game for Reggie Thorpe. And now a foul down low is running over Tyus was Kinzer Lambert. I think Tyus all of a sudden, he was he runs the baseline so much, I think he just stopped and Lambert did. didn't realize he that did. he was going to stop. He did. Five out of five on the season, 81%. It's a one and one. That's just the ninth team foul. So these are this is a big front end. There's a lots of people sitting on their hands right now and sitting nervous, aren't there? Yep. <laughs> Tyus makes the first. You know, you have he to is give, finally calmed yeah, down. So I was just is that say, what you were going to talk just about? Just going to say, you, you give him to, credit you for calming down, for getting himself under control and being there and calming down. Got them both. Griffins by two, two eighteen to go. Coach Wicks trying to get his crowd in it. Everybody stands up. Let's see black and gold. Jennings off the bounce. Quick layup is good. Boy beat TC. And it, that was almost a, a Tyus or Reese layup on the left side. That was a quick layup by right, right, right. Jennings. Ooh. TC wasn't ready for the pass. Now he has it. A minute 55 to go in regulation. TC top of the key. Gets a screen to his left. A little mover blocker here. Trying to get him open. Trying to get shooters open. Off the screen. TC going to fire a three-point shot. Top of the key. Gets it. Tyrell Carroll hits the three. With a minute 37 to go. Western 78. Missouri Southern 75. Jennings gets a screen to his left, up top for Martin. Tries for the tie, nope. and he airballs it. Rebounded by Tyus Milholland. Tyus will slow down. TC will come get it. A minute 21 to go. Monster possession right now. No Tyrell doubt. Carroll with a smile on his face finds Glover. Far side left, back up top for TC. Is it TC time? I One ten to play. Him. I'd go with him all the way right Off there. Off the bounce, the basket. Off the glass and in. High off the window. Ty, no, Carroll, timeout. Jeff Boshi. Woo! What a shot for TC. We've been used to losing games, and now we're going to learn how to Just look win around games. and enjoy right. the atmosphere. Now we're it has not to... been like this for ten years. A long, long time. Longer, probably. 
Across the timeline is Jennings. A minute to go. Griffin's by five. Up top for Martin. He gets a screen to his left. Now double teamed. Spins baseline right to the basket and jams it with two hands. It's still a three-point game. 51.4 to go. They pick up full court. Pass to Bo Baker. He gets in the front court. They find Milholland. He circles around and now finds Glover. He's wide open. They want to run some clock, though. They will try and get a shot. Boy, if they can get a bucket here, it can be a two-possession game. 18 seconds left. And now a foul is going to be called. A hold on Jennings. And they send Tyus Milholland to the free throw line for two. Boy, that's a bad foul on Parker Jennings. Yeah, it really was. Tyus will get two. Both teams in the double bonus. Tyus has not missed tonight, makes another two possession game. Milholland out 18. It's remarkable from the way he started the Absolutely. Game. Made them both. Five point game timeout, Sundance Wicks, I believe. 37 seconds left. Missouri Western 82, Missouri Southern 77 got control of the game looks like they have control of the game all of a sudden we hit three or four in a row and it's our you know now we have control and now all one, of the students are on the baseline on each side this place is electric court. absolutely 36 seconds western leading right now here's jennings for the basket he'll kick in the corner for lambert and he gets fouled on a three Ooh. that's one thing you cannot do in this situation you can contest you can't foul bo baker makes a Huge mistake with 29.7 to go. But now he's out. Lambert gets three free throws. 29.7 to go. This place is alive. Trying to force a miss. First one's good. Well, there's no question there's a new kid on the block. No doubt. Yep. Uh, I think anybody at home watching this. To listen to me say it, and I'll say it again. There's a new kid on the block. Lambert, second free throw. Good. He gets one more. Griffins have got to secure the rebound or get the ball inbounded quickly to a good free throw shooter. You'd love to get Tyus or Reese the basketball right now. They have to foul. 29.7. He can't turn it over. One more for Lambert. Trying to make it a two-point game. Missed it, rebounded by Jerron Thames. Loose ball picked up by Tony, and they fouled Tony. That's a big break for Missouri Southern because now Tony at the foul line is one for five in his entire Griffin career. Boy, the ball bounced the right way for Southern off the miss. Really did. Can Tony step up? You need one, at least one. one right now. Just one. Tony's he one got, for five he in has his two. career. He's going to hit one. 27.3 to go. Tony's free throw. Got it! Nothing but net for Tony Chukwemeke! It's a two-possession game with 27.3. We win this one. Tony gets to ring the bell. Absolutely. Had a bucket in the first half. That was huge. Made them both! Tony steps up in crunch time and hits the pair! He was one for five in his career! 24 seconds, Lambert, top of the key, drives right side to the basket. Tough shot, no good. Rebounded by Tony again. Great defense by Duran Thames to force a missed shot. And Tony Chukumake back to the free throw line. Everybody on their feet in the field house. 18.4 left in regulation. 84-79 Missouri Western. Place will get quiet now for Tony's free throws, <laughs> won't it? Hey, listen, Tony doesn't even need to hit. Oh my God. <laughs> yes! Tony hits another nothing but net. He Look can at, make this a three possession game. They're all laughing. Look at Coach Wicks. Come on, Big Tone. Yes, sir! It's a three possession game. Tony made them all. 15 seconds, Lambert for three, top of the key. It is rolling home with 11 seconds. Timeout, Jeff Boshi. 86-82. How little, big are those yeah. free throws now? <laughs> too little, too late. It's uh, Yeah, no, there's no question. 
He's the seven uh, seconds left uh, in regulation. Yeah, Tony, just stay down at the, at the other end, please. No, you done? throw it to Tony right now. <laughs> Martin's face gardening. Yeah. By the way, he has a career high six points. Here's an inbound for Tyus. Exactly who they wanted to get the ball to. And you know what I like there too is Tyus. He wasn't going to just sit in the corner and hold it, and maybe get tied up. He circled around yeah. the dribble a little bit to make sure that he didn't get tied up. That's exactly who you want at the foul line. So Tyus, nine for nine in the game. The Griffins are now twenty out of twenty-three. Eighteen for nineteen in the second half. That's a, a far cry from the. They were fourteen for twenty-six right. last week. Right. Tyus gets two. First one is nothing but net. Well, I said it earlier, and I'll say it again. You know, these are the games that make the difference in your program. Yeah, and when you win in front of a great crowd like this, enthusiastic, you know, it'll be – wait till Northwest comes in here. I think we this will place is fill, it for the, fill it for the first time in a long time. Both foul shots good. 87-82. Martin, the top of the key, a deep three, and the shot is good with 3.8. It's a one-possession game, and they get the ball to tie us again. Cam Martin has 50 – Four points, and it might not be enough as Western is up three with 2.8 to go. 54. What a performance for him, and the Griffins might overcome it. And <clears throat> we'll probably see him again. Yeah. <laughs> good chance we'll see him again. Tyus makes the first. That should do it. 2.8 to go. Sundance is saying, please do not foul. And now, Tyus, Tyus Milholland made a mistake. He actually tried to miss. He grabbed it but didn't take any time and threw it, so they will yeah, inbound. He actually tried to miss, and he didn't hit anything. So Two pointed to go. Here's a baseball pass. Get away from everybody. Tony goes to check, get it, and a shot up. No good, and Missouri Western has done it. A program-changing win as they rally from nine down in the second half. And the students are storming. <laughs>